This way I get I get it wrong, you see. Woo! I got it back. But all these people like Continue flying past me. Half a mile. They know where they are going. Uh, you see? I think I needed to go straight. It says 20. Speed limit is 20 here. But I feel like the person behind me will be pissed off that I'm going too slow. Hello, I have a phobia and I don't even think that um, my family knows this but I have a fear of driving in built up areas in big cities and in big towns. I came to London to visit a friend and I want to challenge myself. I want to drive through central London and remember it is few days to the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration. So London, I'm sure some of the places have been closed and I'm sure there are a lot of people in London and it is about four 30 in the evening so it's going to be rush hour this one is going to be a weird one enjoy central london so uh, as i said i am rubbish when it comes to driving in um built up areas um so i i will need my gps so i've got my gps on and so yeah you'll be hearing it you'll be hearing it talking but without it i cannot drive to save my life and not to even talk about driving in London. Driving in London petrifies me. I always feel like there, there are too much cameras. And I always feel to drive in London, you have to know absolutely where you are going to make it a smooth drive. So for someone like me, who just come here on occasions, um it can be a bit tricky plus i'm just a nervous driver so yeah let's see how it goes i hope you are all doing good um with the way things are the prices of things are going so high i hope everyone is able to at least live within their means to continue on north circular road a406 This has become so expensive and it's not just in Ghana or in you know third world countries Continue on North Circular Road. even in UK so expensive so yeah second speed camera so you always have to be on the money you always have to pay attention to the road to the and then to the speed limits because you don't want London traffic authority taking your money. And then another thing I don't like about it is this low, um, low emission zones. So if you have a diesel car and it's not, I think up to 20 from 2013, something like that, um, you get charged for driving through these zones. So that's another thing that I don't really enjoy. So this journey continue straight to stay on North Circular Road A406. Yeah, because I was listening to the sad nav. This journey is going to cost me I think 15 pounds. And then I went through Dartford, which will cost me I think two pounds fifty. So 17 pounds fifty. I'm hap I'm lucky I don't pay or try emission because my car is 2016. Continue straight to stay on North Circular so, Road. So that's another thing. It's, it's just difficult and a little bit expensive driving through London. But I was thinking, I don't like living in London. Are there people out there who like living in big cities? I don't know, I've grew up, as I said, I grew up in Kumasi, a city in Ghana. I would say the second largest city in Ghana. And I loved it when I was growing up. But since I grew up, I think my energy does not match up to city life so it just take my energy away 
it just take my energy away it sucks my energy so bad living in a city um so what do you think do you like living in a city or do you, are you a village boy like me who always like to be in the outskirts and then come into the city and buy whatever you need visit whoever you need to visit and then yeah go back I come to London most of the times to Brixton Market that's where I'm going like where you get continental food um, that's where we come and get African food so that we can still eat African food abroad and I come here straight into Brixton Market get what I need and I'm out but this time I'm just going to try and drive through central London and see what's going on with the Queen's Jubilee weekend coming up one thing too I wish um, I could have I wish I had another camera I do have other cameras <coughs> but I couldn't get a stand for them to look at me I think it would have been more interactive if you could see me talking to you um, but done is better than perfect so I'm just going to do it this way I grew up in stadium um, where ev every Sunday mostly every Sunday there will be a game because Kim Faiza also used to play in Kumasi Sports Stadium so there was always a game and we used to come out and we used to come and wash cars so when you are going in, we will tell you that we want to wash your car whilst you are watching the football. We will look after your car for you. And we, we used to wash it and then when they come, they will give us some coins. Um, that was fun to do. And sometimes, to be fair, we will, not, we will go and watch the game on TV. And as soon as it's about time for them to come out, you quickly get downstairs and then come and wait for the owner to come. Tell them that you looked after the car. I don't know if that was being smart or if that is, you know, being dodgy. But yeah, we used to get, make money from that. So we used to, we used to do stuff in a lot of public places, but as I'm growing up, I'm beginning to enjoy my own company a little bit. So I get a little bit social awkward when there are a lot of people. Maybe you don't see in my videos, but I do find that. One thing about London is like, whenever I drive from Maystone into London, it's actually quicker getting from Maystone into London. And then we spend more time maneuvering our way through London. That's another thing. It's more, it's, it's, it's faster driving from Maystone than to get from A to B within London. So a lot of people say, oh, yeah, from Maystone to London, it's like an hour. But you go through that one hour and then you hit London and then it takes you another hour to get to where you're going. That is another thing. He always, I don't know why people love to live in London. I don't know. Maybe it's just the prospects, job prospects. And that, maybe that's the reason why. Yeah, this is the carnage. I don't know if you saw the carnage. Um, so driving through London, something I don't really enjoy doing and I've decided to do it on a day like this where it's a um, few days to go to the Queen's Jubilee Slide right onto New M -way, this is where I get, I get it wrong you see Woo. I got it back in half a mile continue straight onto East India Dog Road A1261 I got it back, yes. I am a bad driver. Like most of you who knows London inside out will probably laugh at me 
for how I drive in London. It's I I have respect for all these bus drivers who wake up in the morning to shield this responsibility of driving in London. You know, being in charge of this massive machine. You know, all these tall Continue London buses. East India Dock Road, Bay 1261. And they do it daily basis. So apparently we are on our way to Canary Wolf. Is that how we say it? Canary Wolf? <laughs> One weird thing is I thought Canary Wolf was in some Caribbean island. It sounded a bit exotic. So I never thought that it was in London. So yeah, that's one thing that I didn't know. You see how all these people are passing by me. They know the road. Because they know the road. I don't. So I don't know where all the cameras are. They know where all the cameras are. So they can just speed past me without being worried but I will have to stick I'll have to stick to the speed limit so that I don't get in trouble but all these people like flying past me they know where they are going so it's easy for them and sometimes when they are behind you they don't realize that oh you might be you might not know the place, you might be new to the place. And they think, ah, oh, you know, they think you are just a slow driver. Why aren't you getting your foot down? But you just don't know where you're going. So yeah, we, we entering the peak of it, the business, the heartbeat of London. All right, this is where it gets freaky. When the lanes become big and becomes numerous multiple lanes that is where the mistakes comes get ready to laugh at my mistakes all right yeah i was talking about the bus drivers how they manage to do it day in and day out and people who commute to drive yards, through London to continue on Limehouse Link Tunnel A1203 every day. I don't know how they do it. Keep right to continue on Limehouse Link Tunnel. Yep, a lot of tunnels. This video is going to be very raw. Um, hopefully, the way I speak is, you know, it's clean enough. Um, I'm not someone who swear a lot, so I think I should be okay. Um, but I'm trying to make this as raw as possible. I don't even know. I just had the idea after dropping my, going to my friend's house. I thought, you know what, that would be cool to drive through London for you to see my mistakes and hopefully I do not uh, make any mistakes hopefully I don't get in any costly troubles financial troubles but yeah it's not something I enjoy doing One thing I also admire about UK is these underground facilities, like driving facilities. It's, it's crazy, you know, all these, have you ever, I don't know if you've ever thought about mega constructions like these, like who thought about it? Someone broke their fear 
to construct these things you know like all the time I want to start something big I always want to start a business I always but I also have this fear that geez like it's too big for me so whenever I see these mega constructions these tunnels someone actually had the guts to build this and trust it that it's not going to cave in one day you know they've it, it's crazy when I see these I'm like wow but remember all these were built by human beings so it get me questioning myself that why cannot why can't I be great why can't I do something big you know for humanity well someone sat down and designed this massive thing and it's working for all of us to enjoy it's it's crazy it's always want me to challenge myself to do something bigger and not to just live a normal life I don't know if that is healthy but whenever I see stuff like that I'm asking myself that if this was constructed by a group of people and human beings with blood like my like myself why am I only just going to work and coming back every day without thinking dreaming big so yeah that's one thing I I take from mega constructions like that there's a program called mega constructions I love and how it's made I love watching those programs because at least I get to know the thought process in all these big constructions that we see in the Western world yeah I don't know let me know in the comment section if you've ever thought like that thought about that that how come people can you know do all these big things and you don't you are not able to or maybe you are doing it and you can link up and give me a perspective how I can build one of the biggest hotels in Ghana how I can build one of the big construction you know architecture in Ghana because at the moment I, I'm always thinking that wow like, I dare not dream dream big even though yeah I've got some dreams but they are not that mega do you sometimes feel the same it would be nice to share your thoughts so I am driving from Walthamstow to Brixton Market and it would take me through central London and driving through central London is not something I enjoy doing so I decided to just film it so that you guys see my mistakes and how bad I am at driving in built up areas I don't even know if my wife knows that I don't enjoy driving through London or maybe she knows but she doesn't want me to know that she knows <laughs> oh love the beauty of it do you sometimes feel like when people are in love they they lie to each other this is off tangent but do you sometimes think that when people are in love um, they don't want to hurt each other feelings so like when I say my wife maybe she probably knows that I'm crap at driving in London but she's never told me because she doesn't want to hurt my feelings I think she knows <laughs> but she just doesn't want to hurt my feelings is that how your love works do you well there are some things you are honest about isn't it but something that you know that especially from the man to a woman you know that it's going to hurt their feelings sometimes you try to sugarcoat it so that you don't end up hurting someone you love's feelings that is just by the way yeah another speed camera yeah one thing too I am just going to talk about random stuff during this drive so that it doesn't get too boring I think you've realized it by now so I'm just going to 
just chat crap. I'm not going to say the swear word. <laughs> I don't swear anyway. Talking about swearing, what do you think about swearing? Is it a good thing? Are you pro swearer? What, what, what do you think is a explanation, the science behind swearing? Um, some long time ago, I, th I think it is people swear when they lack vocabulary. Is it true? Do you concur with that? Because when instead of them to say, uh, 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 they, they replace it with a swear word, like the F word. And you do get some people in Ghana too who think it's cool to swear. That annoys me a lot, especially on social media. They think, oh yeah, they can just F and Jeff everywhere. You know, sometimes I'll be watching a nice YouTube video with my daughter and then swear words will start coming in. I, I don't think it's cool at all. Um, what do you think? And one thing too, I've realized in the UK, when kids are around, we try to protect them away from the swear words, but we drink and we smoke in front of kids. That also is weird and I don't understand why we do that. Yeah, this is where it gets. I think I need to get to this side. Yeah. 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 Talking about swear word and drinking, like we protect kids from hearing us swear, but we drink in front of kids and we smoke in front of, of kids. Both of them. 200 yards, merge onto Tower Hill A100. Yeah, I need, I need to keep quiet. All of them, which one is dangerous? I think swearing is not that dangerous. I think I need to be. Merge onto Tower Hill A100, then turn left to stay on Tower. Ah! Uh, you see, I think I needed to go straight. You see, I am bad at driving in London. It's crazy. I got it so confusing. Yeah, I think I know where I'm going now. I need to go straight. At least I'll miss a turn. But I'm not in a hurry, so I'll find it funny. I bet the guy behind me is so pissed off. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep quiet and get this one right. Let's go. Yes. Oh, oh, someone is beeping at me. Sorry. I'm a crab driver. <laughs> oh God. I always piss beat drivers off. Let's go. All right, we are in. All right. See, look at that bus. Why someone decides to make it their job to drive this bus every day? Oh, oh. Speed bump. See all these people flying by. supposed to be 20 here but they are flying by because they know the road they know where they are going if I try to do that I might get a speed ticket or maybe I'm talking crap I don't know you know one thing I don't really know the names of these places you know <laughs> oh god Oh, 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 yeah, he's supposed to wait for me. Yeah, we are good. Let's go. Yeah, so I'm driving through London. Okay, so there's a speed camera here and it's 20, supposed to be 20. So I need to get that right before I get a ticket. That is it. Oh, look at the view. Some of these buildings must be old as well. Like, I like seeing buildings like that. Is it like, is it a cathedral? The one with the Ukraine flag on it? I don't know.
driving in London. It's not something I love doing at all. But I decided to face this fear and put myself out there for you to laugh at me. Now I've made my first mistake by pissing that driver off. He actually beeped. And if you've driven in London before compared to Africa, um, in the UK, you don't get a lot of people beeping. So when someone beeps, it means you've done a big boo-boo. Is there something that people are scared of doing or not comfortable of doing. I think when I say scared, it's a bit over the top. Turn left onto Queen Street Place, A300. And another thing, I'm hoping that it doesn't tell me to turn a place where it's like literally blocked. Oh, I've done I've done a kind thing. I stopped for someone to, to, to cross the road. So I think I can be forgiven for my first mistake. I think there are a lot of um, tourists in London, particularly this weekend, because next weekend is the Jubilee, um, the Queen's Jubilee celebration. So I'm sure there will be a lot of people. Turn left onto Queen Street Place, A300. Don't tell me to turn left into a parking lot. Oh no. Yeah, it's that one. Good. I thought it was telling me to go into the parking lot. So yeah, I'm driving through, it says 20, speed limit is 20 here, but I feel like the person behind me will be pissed off that I'm going too slow, because as I said, they know this place more than I do. Oh, see, a lot of people on the bridge um, taking pictures, so you see. It says 20 here. I'm, I'm sure that cab driver behind me is thinking that why are you going so slow? But I do not want to get snapped. So I don't know. I'm just going to stick with the speed limit so that I don't get in trouble. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Cab driver. Um, I'm not going to get speed ticket because you are in a hurry. All right. Yeah, let's go. In 200 yards, turn left onto Marshall Sea Road, A3201. Turn left onto Marshall Sea Road, A3201. Mm, you see, I nearly went through lights. It always gets me, every time. And I think I'm in the wrong lane because I'm turning left here. Um, I'm hoping that there will not be a lot of people to my left. Oh, let's go. All right, Mr. Yeah, let's go. I'm in. I'm in, yes. So I think the hard bit is done. Yards, turn right onto Borough High Street, A3. Oh, look at these houses. I bet it's so expensive to get a house here. Houses prices are so expensive as well. Like, um, yeah, I think I have to be here. Turn right onto Borough okay, High Street, right. A3. Yeah. All right. Let's follow on. Let's follow on. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I feel like property houses and uh, property houses, property prices 
is skyrocketing as well. But um, it is being projected that we might hit recession by the end of this year. So if you are thinking of buying a house, maybe this is the time you need to hold up. Just hold and then buy it when it crashes. I did that before a long time ago, 2008, 2009, and 180,000 pounds property was bought for 140,000 pounds. So yeah, but it's not definite that we are going to hear recession, but I think if you are thinking of buying a house, maybe you can hold to the end of this year and see what happens to the economy. I am not a financial advisor. I need to tell you that I am by no means a financial advisor. I'm just talking, saying my um, opinion. What I'm saying is based on pure opinion, not facts. Elephant and Castle, I do not enjoy this runabout oh god that runabout petrifies me scares the hell it stresses me out the lanes are so much let's see no oh, i could have visited my father-in-law he works around here Are we going to Elephant and Castle? When I get to Elephant yards, use any lane to turn right onto Elephant and Castle A3. When I get there, I'm going to keep quiet and concentrate on the road because that is one of my fears. Look at that, like, and I've done it. Loads of times. Lane to turn right onto Elephant and Castle, A3. I've done it. One day, it wasn't just me who was scared. One evening, we were on this, on this road, and there was a car in front of us that went straight into the island. You know, the, the bit where the pedestrian stands. They just went straight into it. That is how confusing it can get at night over here. All right, okay, Mickey, get this right. Get your lanes right. The thing is, I've done this numerous times. Come on, go, go, I don't want red. All right, let's do this. All right, we are in. You see how, how the lanes. Continue on A3 for one mile. Yeah, I've got in I've got it done, nailed. See all these lanes. I hope you're enjoying the view as well. Whilst enjoying my crab driving. I think I've done okay. Let me know if you think it's not as bad as I I thought it's going to be. Maybe I'm not too bad at driving in London, but it just stresses me out. Stresses me out. And every time we come here, my wife, there's a watcher joint around this area. My wife would try and tell me to find this watcher joint. So watcher is like a Ghanaian food, staple food. She would tell me to try and find this place. So on top of trying not to make a mistake driving, in London, I also try and find this watcher spot. And even though we've been there before, I can never seem to find this watcher spot. Yep. I think the most difficult bit is done. Um, I'll still look.
the camera went off because it was too hot. Um, I nearly missed my my turn, and then the camera went off because it was too hot. Yeah, I'm. I nearly missed another turn, but the camera went off. I don't know if it was able to capture it because it said the camera was too hot. This drive also makes me miss my family so much because every time I've made this journey, there will be two kids at the back with my wife by my side. Um, it's just weird doing it alone now. Not having the kids at the back, you know, screaming their head off because they are hungry because they are always hungry. In 200 yards, slight left onto Brixton Road, A23. I don't like this road too. I don't like this road too. Slight left onto Brixton Road, A23, then slight right to stay on Brixton Road. I do not enjoy this road too. I've got the lane right. Let's do this. Yes, we're in. And I'll have to stay in the right lane. Slide right to stay on Brixton Road, A23. And I don't like being on the side. Ah, uh, yes, of a bus. I don't like doing that. I always feel like they might crash me. Yeah. All right. Stay in your lane. That's it. Let me go. Yeah. No matter how long and how much I've done this journey before. It's never less stressful for me. It's always stressful. It's always stressful for me. from minor mistakes I think I've I've done well until I get a speeding fine comes through my letterbox and then I'll know that I've not done well what do you think H have I driven all right I think I have, to be fair. Okay, speed camera here. So what is the speed limit? one thing I've realized 
how come in the UK all the mopeds, all the small motorbikes has got L on it, a learning sign on it? Can someone please educate me? All the mopeds that I see in the UK has got an L sign on it, learning sign on it. Can someone, I genuinely want to know why, maybe I could Google it, but if someone can tell me why, I don't know why I've not Googled it, to be honest. Surprise, I've not Googled it. Can someone tell me why all the mopeds in the UK has got an L sign on it? Speed limit, speed camera. In 300 yards, turn left onto Villa Road. Turn left onto Villa Road. In two minutes, you have reached your destination. Okay, now, I need to buy myself something. Turn right to stay on Wiltshire Road. Uh, right, right, right. In 50 yards of the roundabout, continue straight to stay on Wiltshire Road. Yards, turn right onto Canterbury Crescent. <coughs> yeah, boy. But the thing is, I'll have to drive home. Turn right onto Canterbury Crescent, then turn left onto Pope's Road. Guys. There's no access through to Pope's Road. You can't get through to the market. Okay. Yeah? I'll turn around. It's up to you. If yeah. you want to park up, it's up to you, but you can't get through. The I'm going to turn around. All right, thank okay. you. Cool. Oh, I think so, Sergeant. Oh, no. I wanted to go and buy something in the market, but they said you cannot go to the market through this. You cannot get access to the market. So I'm just going to stop the video here. I hope I was able to entertain you with my driving. I hope I was able to give you a bit of an escapism from your living room or wherever you watch this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to come on my journeys, please subscribe. Uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.